Mr. Chairman, last time I was here, I requested to play um, a video of Charlotte County Utilities um, being made aware of the section of the Spring Lake sewers um, declared um, by the engineers saying very clearly that they knew it to be gravity. Uh, you refused to let me play that, and I'd like to play that now. Uh, Mr. Andrzejczyk, uh, I will not allow it, and let me, let me explain very briefly. I reviewed our rules of procedure. My responsibility is to, as the person in charge of uh, running these meetings at the current time, that I follow our rules of procedure. I would refer you to section 1.12, paragraph J, of our rules of procedure talk about electronic devices. Okay. Electronic devices um, uh, shall be turned off or, or silenced during the citizen input part of our meeting. I'm going to enforce that until that's changed. And I'm just sharing with you, it's not a debatable item, sir. I would ask you to close the, close at the top of your laptop. But the electronic device, and I do believe that's an electronic device, it says all electronic devices shall be shut off in, or silenced. Disruptive. No, sir, it doesn't say that. If you would close, you need to close that, sir, or you'll be out of order. Okay, again, Mr. Chairman, I'm, I'm, I'm going to state that this is my um, constitutional rights. I asked you in my email to you to declare which one of your statutes overrides my constitutional rights in the second, uh, in, in both the Florida uh, Constitution and the federal Constitution. So we'll continue this conversation, sir. I understand, sir. I understand. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Scott Andrzejczyk, speaking for SOS. Um, Mr. Chairman, I want to introduce a document to you folks um, from Mr. Sandrock to Mr. Vineyard, um, head of FDEP. Now, Mr. Sandrock sent this letter fully four months after the email exchange that he had with Mr. Eigelhart, where Mr. Eigelhart clearly says there is no specific st uh, study for the area to be sewered and that any credit from the sewer uh, for environmental impact was based on assumptions. Now those were Mr. Eigelhart's words, not ours. So I'd like, you to, I'd like, I'd like to know why, um, would you kindly ask Mr. Sandrock why he would send this letter to Mr. Vincent, please, Mr. Chairman? We don't get into exchanges like that during citizen input. Oh, you can't ask, oh, you can't ask Mr. Sandrock for me? my one-on-one -on -one meetings I will okay I'd like you, I'd like you to mr. chairman to ask mr. Standrock how does it go from a million thirty six thousand to five hundred thousand overnight and then it's withdrawn would you ask him that please We don't, we don't have that dialogue at, during this portion of the meeting, sir. Well, about that, Mr. Chairman, a point of order. Um, according to the rules of procedure that I downloaded from the website, I may be wrong about this, and you can clarify this for me. I'd appreciate it if you stop my time. It says, no question shall be asked a member of the commission except through the presiding officer. Aren't you the presiding officer? And so according to your rules of procedure that I downloaded from the website, I'm allowed to ask questions of the members of the board. Would you ask the parliamentarian to clear this up for us? Mr. Antrick, I'll have meetings with the staff uh, subsequent to this meeting. Thank you. Well, Mr. Chairman. Your time is up, sir. Mr. Chairman, this is a critical point for Ms. the Ms. folks at Spring Lake. Your time is we up. We feel sir. we're being cheated here, sir, and we'd like some answers. Your time is up, sir. Okay. Just for the record, sir, I followed the rules of this board. I asked through you. And I don't think I did anything wrong. And yet, I get no clarification from the county attorney, the valedictorian, 
Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I, I still have a question, sir, whether or not uh, under 1.12c that we can ask questions through the presiding officer yourself, sir. So could you clarify that for us, please? I, we're at a loss. We, we'd like to ask our elected officials some questions from time to time. And what would be the purpose of actually having the um, clause in, in, in the rules of procedure saying we can ask questions? Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. can we ask questions to this board no. through the presiding officer? There will be no discussion. I've read that in the record, Mr. Anderson. Okay, good. Well, I, I'm just asking for clarification, sir, because last time I asked you to ask the um, parliamentarian because it just seems odd to me that we would have in, in the rules of procedure this clause. So, okay, I'll move on.